when I started working with Jeff Bridges, I must admit that uh, I was nervous. Nervous because he's an Academy Award winner. Nervous because he's wanted to make this story for almost two decades. And nervous because my lead actor was also my producer. So when we got onto the set, I wondered, well, what's going to happen? Is he going to just be an actor or is he going to be the producer who tells the director, advises the director, should I say, about what to do? And the truth was that when he got onto the set, he was none of those things. Jeff became the giver, the character he was playing. He took himself totally into that character. Everything about every gesture, about every word, carried with it a lifetime of experience that we didn't see, but we could guess at because of the marvelous way that he portrayed the character. You know, one of the great things about being a film director is that you get to sit in the front row of your own personal cinema, in the director's chair. And one of the most memorable days of my whole career was the day that Meryl Streep was right before me, up close and personal, acting in The Giver. Katie Holmes had one of the hardest parts in the whole movie. She's the director of justice in the community and she has to play a mother who is not the natural mother of the family that she's mothering. She has to play it in a way that is human and yet somehow disconnected. She has to play someone who doesn't know what love is and yet shows a certain kind of affection or care for the other members of her family. She had to walk such a tightrope to pull this part off. Really, really superb actress. I had screen tested him for another movie that I was going to make. And so when The Giver came up, I gave him a call, he came in, and I was once again impressed by his incredible combination of well, masculinity, uh, physicality, um, and vulnerability. And those were the perfect characteristics for the part of Jonas. This was a young actress who came in to screen test for me and just seemed to have some very, very special quality. And that quality is that she was real. I think she's, you know, truly, truly, truly beautiful. The camera loves her. But I think her, you know, main asset and what she contributes so much to this film is that she anchors us in reality. My main goal in directing the giver was to ensure that the combination of action, emotion, and challenging ideas that are the hallmark of Lois Lowry's novel is orchestrated in a way that takes the audience on a roller coaster ride. I wanted to make a film that, like the book, is profound and challenging, but at the same time is thoroughly entertaining.